Now to the plate, Jake McCarthy. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. Tonight, the designated hitter, Jake McCarthy. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. Hey, let's get him right here. Takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Again, another foul ball. The next one, two pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Corbin Carroll will be the batter. He's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. No balls in one strike. The 0 1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And another foul ball. One out, nobody on. Count remains at 0-2. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap. It should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. At the plate, Barry is Waldo. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Myers gets there for the catch. And that ends the inning. Now it'll be the four hole hitter, Wyatt Matheson. He went deep last night twice. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Grounder down the line at third. Fielded cleanly. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. Next up, Andy Young. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now a swing and a miss. Oh, and Took one. something off that one and it's strike one. Maybe a little jumpy there oh, as he swings oh, through the fastball. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really That's quick, it. keeping the ball That's down funny. in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. Popped him up. Shaver has room in foul territory, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Dom Marolio. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Get down the line at first. Uh, this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Don Marolio goes down for the first out here in inning number three. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Hit out towards second. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Into the box, Andy Yerzy. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Here it comes, 0-2. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
Now to the plate. Here is Jake McCarthy. 0 for 1 here in the early going. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Myers is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Digging in will be Corbin Carroll. He doubled his last time up. And I don't know if he's getting waved around by his third base coach right there, but either way, this guy's not a burner. So I think in hindsight, they would have been real happy if he pulled up at second on that one. Jones comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Next to hit is Barry Iswaldo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Drilled to the left side. And in the left field for a one out hit. Stepping in now, Wyatt Matheson. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Benedetti is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. Now at the plate, here is Andy Young looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 0 oh 1 the count. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I think a big reason why Cut will leave it right there as he strikes out and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway and that'll bring in the second baseman LT Tolbert. And now the first pitch. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Into the box, Don Marolio oh, struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Oh, and Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Oh, Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. So next to hit is Stuart Fairchild. He singled in his first A.B. Here's the pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So now here is Andy Yerzy struck out in his last trip to the plate. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And that's cut on a miss going one. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of a swing and a high drive to right center field. Gone to lead off the inning. To the plate now, Jake McCarthy. As he hits it weakly on the ground toward first. Scooped up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And now in the box, Corbin Carroll. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Garcia takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Up next, Barry Iswaldo singled in his last at bat. Barry Popped up. Garcia moving to his left. I got it. I got it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. So now to the plate, Wyatt Matheson. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. In now, Andy Young. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And the curveball's in there, so he's quickly behind, nothing in two. 
Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. Tommy DeJunas comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. The Sod Poodles used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Miguel Aguilar claims the win out of the pen his first. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. They left six men on base. For the Hooks, seven runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.